everyone, my name is Holden Hardman. Thank you so much for joining us again for another video. We're on our way through phase three of the MCU. Today we're watching Doctor Strange. You guys know how I feel about this if you watched the watch along we did with Matt a while ago. I'll just leave it at that for now. Jen, do you know anything about this character? What do you think going into it? I know nothing of Doctor Strange. Just looking at the title card, it doesn't give any clues at all. I really don't know what else to say about it. I guess we'll see. I don't know what the community reception was. I don't know what Holden's reception was of the movie. So it'll be interesting to see what it's about. And uh, that's how I want this one to be. We'll just go in completely blind. Hopefully you enjoy it. Let's just jump into it. Doctor Strange. Sorrow. Tilda Swinton. <laughs> Are people able to see this? You'll see. It's got some like Inception vibes here. I've never seen it. We gotta put that to the list then. Benedict. Challenge what is this, Grey's Anatomy? <laughs> I found the problem, Dr. Palmer. He left a bullet in his head. Thanks. Not gonna let you operate on a dead man. What do you see? A bullet? The patient's not dead, but he is dying. Still want to harvest his organs? You can't do it freehand. I can and I will. This is yeah. for real Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> <laughs> you could make such a difference. I can't work in your butcher's shop. In ER, we're only saving lives. And there's no fame, there's no uh, CNN interviews. <sighs> so did they screw around before? Come with me. Yes, they screwed around. It was very strange. It's nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, so he thinks he's a big shot. I've got a 35-year-old Air Force colonel. Crushed his lower spine in some kind of experimental arm. Rody. Mid-thoracic burst. Find me something worth my time. Walk it off, Strange. It's gonna be okay. What did they do? No one could have done better. I could have done better. Give your body time to heal. It was not useless, man. You can do this. All right, answer me this bachelor's degree. <laughs> you want nerve damage this severe to do this and actually recover? One guy, yeah. He came in three times a week, and then one day he stopped coming. It take me a while to put a file, so, but if it proves your arrogant ass wrong, <laughs> worth it. <laughs> worth it. I've got my own reputation to consider. It's here. Wait, wait. I can't help you. No. No, no, wait. A little rude. I know. You've always spent money as fast as you can make it, but now you're spending money you don't even have. There are other things that can give your life meaning. Like what? Like you. Oof. This is the part where you leave. He kind of reminds me of House. I can't watch you do this to yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Poor Stephen Strange, charity case. He finally needs me, another drag of humanity for you to work on. You care so much, don't you? He lost whatever chance he had. Goodbye, Steven. It's just having a rough day. Everyone has their bad Shut days. Shut up! Jonathan Pangborn, C7, C8, spinal cord injury. I don't know you. I'm Steven Strange, a neurosurgeon. Was a neurosurgeon. You came back from a place there's no way back from. I'm trying to find my own way back. I thought my mind's the only thing I have left. I should at least try to elevate that. And finally, I found my teacher. And somehow... Your body healed. Yes. And there were deeper secrets to learn there, but I didn't have the strength to receive them. The place you're looking for is called Kamartash. Excuse me, excuse me. Uh, I don't have any money. 
your watch. No, please. You're looking for Kamatan. Chiwetel Ejiofor? He was in The Martian. Sure we got the right place. That one looks a little more... Kamer Taji. Forget everything you think you know. All right. <laughs> the sanctuary of our teacher. The Ancient One. The Ancient One? Thank you, Ancient One, for seeing me. You're very welcome. Mr. Strange. Doctor, actually. Well, no, not anymore, surely. Seven. She was in Constantine. Mm -hmm. Did you heal a man named Pangborn, a paralyzed man? In a way. Well, I didn't correct it. He couldn't walk. I convinced him that he could. What if I told you that your own body could be convinced to put itself back together in all sorts of ways? Just how experimental is your treatment? Quite. Right, how, how do we do that? Where do we start? I've seen it before in gift shops. <laughs> Acupuncture, great. Yeah. Drawn up by someone who could see in part, but not the whole. I spent my last dollar getting here. I do not believe in fairy tales about chakras or energy or the power of belief. You think too little of yourself. Oh, you think you see through me. I see through you! <laughs> what did you just do to me? What's in that tea? <laughs> <laughs> Open your eyes. This material universe is all there is. This universe is only one of an infinite number of dark places where powers older than time lie and waiting. Teach me. No. <laughs> I think I was wrong to cast him out. There's a strength to him. Stubbornness, arrogance, ambition. I've seen it all before. I cannot lead another gifted student to power, only to lose him to the darkness. We never lose our demons, Morda. We only learn to live above them. <laughs> the Ancient One will send for you. But uh, what's this, my mantra? The Wi-Fi password. <laughs> <laughs> We're not savages. We harness energy drawn from other dimensions of the multiverse to make magic. Confirmation of magic being in the MCU universe. How do I get from here to there? Oh. How did you get to reattach severed nerves and put a human spine back together, bone by bone? He was in The Martian, too. Mr. Strange. Oh, yeah. Uh, Stephen, please. Just one? Like Adele? <laughs> you finished all of this? Yup. Come with me. What are those? What are those? This one's got pages missing. That's the book of Cagliostro. One of the rituals was stolen by a former master. I am now the guardian of these books. If a volume from this collection should be stolen again, you'd be dead before you ever left. It's just overdue. You know, any late fees I should know about maiming, perhaps. People used to think that I was funny. Did that work for you? All right, well, it's been a lovely <laughs> talking to you. We will now receive the power to destroy the one who betrayed us. Mastery of the sling ring is essential to the mystic arts. They allow us to travel throughout the multiverse. Look beyond the world in front of you. At least he's getting, like, something there. I mean, mm -hmm. that alone is... It's not about your hands. How is this not about my hands? Control it by surrendering control? It doesn't make any sense. Not everything does. Not everything has to. Wait, is this? Everest. At this temperature, a person can last for 30 minutes before suffering permanent loss of function. What? Surrender, Stephen. No, 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 no.
kind of his more like traditional look in the comics. What do you want, Strange? Books on astral projection. You're not ready for that. Try me, Beyonce. <laughs> <laughs> this is cool. Being able to like once in this room read and study you while your body sleeps you i'm told you question every lesson preferring to teach yourself told me to open my eye now i'm being told to blindly accept rules that make no sense me when we work together you need a safe We're space to practice your spells that's cool yeah we're now inside the mirror dimension mirror dimension. ever present but undetected <laughs> Learning of an infinite multiverse includes learning of infinite dangers. Fight! Fight like your life depends on it! Because one day, it may. Learning magic and stuff. Talk to you soon, lol. branches in time unstable dimensional openings really should put the warnings before the start <laughs> agamotto built three sanctums in places of power where great cities now stand sanctums generate a protective shield around our world Castilians. how long have you been at kamataj mr Doctor. Mr. Doctor. It's strange. Maybe. Who am I to judge? Cannot stop this, Mr. Doctor. Look, I don't even Mr. know Doctor. what this is. We don't seek to rule this world. We seek to save it, to hand it over to a Dormammu. He's not the destroyer of worlds, Doctor. He's the savior. I mean, come on. Look at your face. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't that suck? Killed by Kate? I know. <laughs> Just a little while. <laughs> what am I seeing? My astral body. Keep me alive, will you? <laughs> Hit me again. No, the heart's beating. Just do it. Clearly in shock. <laughs> I ended up in Kathmandu. Kathmandu? Like the Bob Seger song. Uh, 1975, Beautiful Loser, Side A. Uh, <laughs> that sounds like a cult. It's not a cult. Well, it's cult. You're doing. I'm late for a cult meeting. <laughs> <laughs> It came to you. You defended the New York Sanctum from attack. With its master gone, it needs another. I swore an oath to do no harm, and I have just killed a man. I'm not doing that again. You talk to me about controlling death. Well, I know how you do it. I've seen the missing rituals from the Book of Cagliostro. The source of her immortality. She draws power from the dark dimension to stay alive. 
That's not true. I've seen the rituals work them out. No idea the responsibility that rests upon her shoulders. No, and I don't want to know. You lack imagination. You lack a spy. Mm. The mirror image. You can't affect the real world in here. They can't affect the real world, but they can still kill us. This wasn't cleverness. It's cool. Just like moving cars out of the way. Yeah. Heck yeah. That is hilarious. Stanley! <laughs> I honestly, I just love the visuals of this movie. It's so, like, creative. Look at that. It looks so good. I saw this in IMAX. It's so trippy, too. Mm-hmm. It's true. She does draw power from the dark. <laughs> oh. Crap. Christine! <laughs> oh my god. We need to relieve the pressure on our brain. Does he work there anymore? There we go. You have to return to your body now. You don't have time. Time is relative. I've spent so many years peering through time. You think this is where you die? You wonder what I see in your future? I never saw your future, only its possibilities. Arrogance and fear still keep you from learning the simplest and most significant lesson of all. It's not about you. I'm not ready. No one ever is. We don't get to choose our time. Death is what gives life meaning. I think after all this time I'd be ready. Look at me. Stretching one moment out into a thousand. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Asilius? You're on the wrong side of history, Wong. She's dead. You were right. She wasn't who I thought she was. She did what she thought was right. The bill comes due. You told me once to fight like my life depended on it because one day it might. Well, today is that day. The sanctum's already fallen. Your mama is coming. We've got a second chance. Lieutenant. Jeez. Those capes always like look out. Breaking the laws of nature, I know. Well, don't stop now. <laughs> you can't fight the inevitable. A world beyond time. Beyond time. Strange! Even Strange has left you and surrendered to his power. Romamu, I've come to bargain. I've come to bargain. You've come to die. What is that? Dormammu, I've come to bargain. <laughs> what? This is time. Endless, looped time. Oh. Dormammu, I've come to bargain. This is how things are now. You and me, trapped in this moment. Dormammu, I've come to bargain. You will never win. But I can lose again 
again. That makes you my prisoner. No. I've come to bargain. What do you want? End your assault on my world. Never Never come back. Come back. What have you done? I made a bargain. It's everything you ever wanted. Eternal life is part of the one. You're not gonna like it. <laughs> Warnings come after the spells. <laughs> 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 There's no such thing as bad day anymore. Yeah, well, You'll just be rewarded. Yes, we did it. By also violating the natural law. You still think there will be no consequences, Strange? The bill comes due. I will follow this path no longer. Okay, we'll follow her. Best not to walk the streets wearing an infinity stone. A what? Mm -hmm. Word of the Ancient One's death will spread through the multiverse. There's no Sorcerer Supreme to defend it. We'll be ready. I love how his cape is like his best friend. Mm -hmm. Little sassy little guy. Mm -hmm. Shot in the comics. So Earth has wizards now, huh? <laughs> Your adopted brother Loki is worthy inclusion. Yeah. <laughs> We're looking for my father. Oh, okay. So if you found Odin. Oh, yes. Promptly. Great. Allow me to help you. You see? Loki. Can I help you? They carried you into Kamataj on a stretcher. I've been away for many months now, and I've had a revelation. The true purpose of a sorcerer, stealing power, perverting nature. I've stolen nothing. This is my power. Oh, jeez. I see at long last what's wrong with the world. Too many sorcerers. Did he just become... Yeah. Just finished Doctor Strange. I love this movie. I saw it four times in theaters when it came out. Four times? Yeah, I don't know what it is about this movie that uh, I just really connect with, but I absolutely love it. I think it is probably visually the most interesting of all the Marvel movies. It's got kind of that like Inception feel. I like seeing Stephen Strange, like Tony Stark, learning that the world doesn't revolve around you. And that character arc, I enjoy a lot. I love this movie, so it's up there for me. I know it's got some formulaic Marvel-ness to it, I acknowledge that, but it's just one that I just personally really, really like. What did you think? I really, really liked it. It was very different, a lot different than I thought it was going to be. In the beginning, I, being an MCU movie, I was like, ooh, you know, is he gonna become a villain? So I was very curious about that, but at the end of the day, he ended up being the hero, great. But very, very different from what I thought it was going to be. I feel like it was pretty split up evenly with a personal story. You know, he was this great neurosurgeon at the top of his game, had everything that, you know, somebody could want. He ended up losing that in the form of his hands. I liked seeing the emotional struggle of that bleeding into him becoming, it was Doctor Strange, but did he have another name? Uh, like in the magic world? No, I mean, right now it's just okay. Doctor Strange. Um, <laughs> But I really, really liked his character. I don't know what it is, but all the characters that have a large ego tend to be the funniest. He heavily reminded me of the character of House. He had this, I guess you could call it disability or disadvantage. He was very, very funny. But I have to say my favorite character in this entire movie is Wong. Like flat out. I thought he was just a great little addition to it. I also liked Mon... Mordo? Mordo. Hendo, Mordo. I mean, I really, really liked his character and I love, love those post credit scenes. Again, they delivered 100%, very, very juicy. I, I think I'm most interested to see what happens with him because it is very clear that he is pissed off. 
he wants some justice and maybe a little revenge. That was kind of the highlight for me, but I really did enjoy this movie a lot. Rachel McAdams, she was great in The Notebook, um, some other stuff that we saw her in. So she's really, really great. I thought that visually, I agree with you, it looked beautiful. I've never seen Inception, so I don't know as far as comparing this to that but it was very, very interesting. Uh, very, a lot more mind tripping than I would have thought this movie to be. He had a lot of layers to him. His personality wants results right away. Wants to fix it right away. And you can't hate him. He's like Iron Man. You can't hate him. I mean, he may be egotistical and have a smart mouth, but you can't hate him. And he ended up saving the world, so. I think I like the movies that bend reality some you know because there's still even in something like this there's still like rules and things that you have to do for whatever it is to work so it's not just like a free-for-all of like i just picture something and it happens but breaking like the laws of physics or breaking the natural law and doing like really cool things outside of that is always something that's really interesting to me i like the relationship between christine and dr strange and seeing that and this whole movie kind of just being a lesson in humility for Doctor Strange. We see at the beginning, even when he's like in his car driving, saying here are people that need help. And he's like, well, I'm not gonna break my perfect track record and help these people that I know are not gonna survive anyway. To now, you know, going and being willing to go through an eternity of suffering so that people on earth can live, so. That was pretty cool. I like that evolution for him. One thing that I think they did really, really well was at the beginning of this movie, his character, he believed he was invincible that he could do anything. You saw that in his work. He may be very, very good at what he does, but nobody should ever get to the point where they think that they cannot make a mistake. And he was at that point. So I really, really like how he went from that. <sighs> he went from that to being at the very, very bottom. I mean, he didn't have anything, he didn't have a, a dollar to his name. His soul was absolutely just crushed as a person. So it was good to see the evolution of him becoming who he was at the end. He was open to a lot more, which I love those characters. I absolutely love seeing them go from what some people would see as the absolute worst to being this internally strong person. So I really think that they did a great job. I liked it a lot more than I thought I was going to. And the fact that this touches on like dark magic is very fascinating to me. So I, I thought that it was a really, really great movie. I can't wait to see the second one. And I hope, I know that you mentioned that he makes appearances in other movies, does Mordo? Mordo. Does, he? does he make any appearances? <laughs> we'll see, I can't tell you. For this. <laughs> yeah, but I'm so. Oh God, those end credit scenes are just. The four and the. They kill me. They kill yeah, me. Yeah, well, imagine having to wait for, you know, I, months and years in some cases. Listen, listen, I have a newfound respect for people that are able to do that because I'm just not. I can't. I don't know how you guys do it. You're fantastic because I just. Oh, it's so difficult. Another thing about this movie is that it introduces magic into the Marvel universe, which opens up a whole door of possibilities that all the characters have to face now. The only real thing that we've had is like Asgard, you know, this dimensional areas, Asgard yeah. and the nine realms and stuff. We're introducing magic Very now. Sandy. Yeah, so it's gonna get even, expanding stuff that's happening currently in the Marvel that's changing things too, but we'll get into all that later. What would you rate this? Hmm, I think, I'm gonna go with a seven. A seven? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good. Again, I know that this isn't like top tier, I guess, objectively. For me, this is probably about an eight, 8.5 for me. I really like this movie. It's wow. really enjoyable. I love Benedict Cumberbatch. I love Rachel McAdams. I love Mordo. I love Tilda Swinton. I think they were, I love uh, Kaecilius. I forget the actor's name. He was Hannibal in the series. He was also in Rogue One. He was Jen Erso's father. I think the movie was just cast perfectly. I think everybody did a great job. Visually, it was fantastic. Story-wise, I loved it. I loved the story of arrogance to humility. I loved the magic and all that. Uh, I think it was great for me, 8, 8.5. I'm very impressed. Yeah. I thought it was a great movie. Um, I liked the magic aspect as well. It was nice to see that as a little departure from you know, some of the other MCU movies, which were completely different. Yeah. So it was nice to see 
something a little more down my alley. So I really liked it. Next week is gonna be Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. I'm looking forward to watching that one. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Helps my channel out a lot. Comment down below letting us know what you think of Doctor Strange. I can't wait for you to see Doctor Strange and Tony Stark inter Ooh, interact. Because yeah. uh, we'll be getting to that point very soon as well. Spoilers, I guess I can give you that a little bit. I don't give you much ever, so. They do interact and it's cool. Not even qualified as a spoiler. <laughs> Subscribe if you wanna see more fun content like this. Consider joining my Patreon to get early access to select videos like this one. As always, we appreciate you watching. We'll catch you in the next video. Take care.